in this video we are going to discuss about access specifiers or access modifiers in java programming language mainly we have four access specifiers or modifiers are there they are public private protected default so what is the purpose of access specifiers access specifiers mainly specifies the behavior of a class and the behavior of members such as instance variables and methods so behavior means where we can access them so where we can access the class where we can access instance variables where we can access the methods so that will be specified with the help of the access specifiers so first let us see about class level access specifiers so first let us see about class level access specifiers and then we will see about uh, members access specifiers members access specifiers uh, here we have two programs are there this is our first program this is our second program so first program package name is p1 here we have a class called first and we have a class called second uh, which is extending from first class next we have third class okay uh, here this is the second program uh, here name of the package is p2 uh, import space p1 dot star semicolon so that means we are importing uh, this package one p1 next here we have a class called i which is extending from the first class of p1 package next we have hello class we have test class in test class main method is there okay uh, let us see about class level access specifiers first uh, class level access specifiers are public and default so that means we can declare a class as either public or default so let we declare a class as public then we can access this first class from this program from this package so anywhere in this program or from outside this program or from outside this package also we can use the class first why because here the class is declared as public so we can access the public public means the name itself specifies the meaning it is public it is accessible to everyone so any one in the program any class in the program can access the first okay or from outside this class or from outside this package also we can access this class okay suppose if you don't specify any access specifier here if you don't specify any access specifier then by default it will becomes a default here there is no need to use the uh, access modifier default if you don't specify any specifier then by default it will becomes default only okay so what is the purpose of the default access specifier so if you declare a class as default then the corresponding class can be accessible in this program only the corresponding class can be accessible in this package only in p1 package only so from outside the program so from outside this package it is not possible to access the first class so that's why in uh, packages uh, while declaring the classes uh, we must specify the access specifier as public otherwise accessing this first class from outside this program is not possible okay so from this program we can't access first class why because here no access specifier is specified so by default it is default so default means we can access only in this class only it is not possible to access in outside the class okay it is not possible to declare a class as private or protected so let us assume that i declare a class as private then the compiler will gives error message then the compiler will gives error message why because a class should not be declared as private okay so likewise a class cannot be declared as protected a class cannot be declared as protected if you declare a class as protected then the compiler will gives error message so that is about class level access specifiers so what are the class level access specifiers public and default it is not possible to declare a class as private or protected now let us see about members access specifiers so in a class we can have two types of members we can have either instance variables we can have either instance variables or variables or fields also instance variables or variables or fields and what is the next one next one is methods so the members of the class are instance variables or methods okay so here members means they may be either variables instance variables or methods okay so here the members of the class 
can be public or private or protected or default. There is no problem. We can declare a variable as int a, int a. So if you don't specify any access specifier, then it will become what? Private. I'm sorry. Then it will become what? Default. Or we can declare this variable as private. Or we can declare this variable as public. Or we can declare this variable as protected. There is no problem. If you don't specify any access specifier, by default it will become default. Okay. So likewise we can declare a method as likewise we can declare a method as either public or private or protected or default. Okay. If you don't specify any access specifier, it will become default method. Otherwise we can specify it as public, private, protected. Okay. So like that. Okay. Now let's see about what is the purpose of public members. So here members means instance variables or variables or fields as well as methods. So mainly class contains two members, variables and methods, instance variables, methods. Okay. So if you declare a member as a public, public members can be accessible inside the program. So anywhere in the program, we can access the public members as well as we can access the public members from outside the program also. So from outside this program, from outside this package also, we can access the public members. Okay. So let here we have public int a. So we can access a from this program also, from outside this program. That means from this program also, we can access a. Only when it is public, only when the class is declared as public. Whereas if the class is declared as default, then it is not possible to access this public member. Okay. So that is about public members. So what is the purpose of public members? Public members are accessible anywhere in the program or package or from outside this program or package also. Now let us see about here public means global scope. So what is public? So the scope of the public is global. Global means anywhere, anywhere, anybody can access them. Now let us see about private. So let here we have a variable called private int a. Private int a or private void read. Private members are accessible only inside the class. Only inside the class in which it is declared. So we can't access this A from outside this class or from another program. So private members means the scope is class scope. Private members means the scope is class scope. So what is the advantage of private members? Private members are accessible only within a class in which they are declared. So from outside the class or from another program, we can't access private members. Now let us see about the next member that is protected, that is protected, 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 void, read, protected, void, read, protected, void, read. Protected members are accessible anywhere in the program, anywhere in the package. So anywhere in P1 package or anywhere in this program, we can access protected members as well as we can access protected members from outside the program also, but that class should be subclass. Okay. Here in high class, we can access the read method. In high class, we can access the read method. Why? Because high is extending from first class. High is extending from first class. Okay. So in high, we can access this read method. But in hello class, we can't access the read method. Why? Because hello class is not a subclass of first class. In test class, we can't access the read method. Why? Because test is not a subclass of read method. So what is the purpose of protected members? Protected members are useful, are useful in order to access anywhere in the program. So we can access protected members anywhere in the program or from outside this program also or from outside this package also. But that subclass must be but, but it must be a subclass of the parent class. Okay. So here in high class, we can access, we can access this first class member, this read method. Whereas in other classes, we can't access them. Okay. In high class, we must create a reference for the subclass only. But by using this parent class reference, we can act, we can't access the members. So we have to create a reference for this one only. High ref is equal to new high, new high, new high. Now with the help of this ref, 
we can access this read method but by using this parent class reference we can't access the read method okay so that is the purpose of the protected members so protected members can be accessible from outside the package also but it should be a subclass of the corresponding class okay now let us see about default default members so default members means if you don't specify any variable if you don't specify any variable in ta if you don't specify any access specifier in ta no access specifier is specified so this is nothing but default member okay default members are accessible only inside this program only default members are accessible only inside this package only only inside this package only in this program only so we can't access default members from outside this package from outside this program so that's why default member scope is package scope package scope so public member scope global private member scope class default member scope package various protected member scope is package plus child package plus child in another package the children class can access the member but other classes cannot access the members of the protected members okay so this is the about uh, public private protected and default now let us see a table so with the help of the table uh, this entire summary will be we will demonstrate uh, now let us see about uh, the summary of access specifiers so public access specifier protected default private access specifier various here this column represents visibility where we can access them where uh, those are visible within the same class this is the first group from the child class of the same package from the child class of same package so same program from non child class of the same package so from non child class of the same package okay from child class of outside package so from child class of outside package outside program another program so from non child class of outside package so from non child class of outside package so from non child class of another program outside program first let us see about public so we can access public variables within the class from the child class of same program from the non child class of the same program from the child class of another package from non child class of another package there is no problem whereas coming to the protected we can access protected members anywhere in the program anywhere in the same package so we can access them within the same class we can access from child class of the same package from non child class of the same package but we can access protected members only from child class of other package only from child class of the other package but here we must use child reference we must use child class reference for accessing the protected members okay from non child class of the outside package so we can't access protected members from non child class of the other package it should be a child class only then only we can access the protected members so here it is not possible now let us see about default members default members are accessible anywhere in the same program anywhere in the same package but we can't access default members from outside the package so we can access within the same class from the child class of same package from the non child class of the same package but we can't access default members from another program another package so not possible to access from the another package even if it is a child or non child we should not bother about whereas private members are accessible only within the same class we can't access private members uh, from outside this class or from another program also we can't access them so we can't access outside this class so from the child class we can't access from the non child class of the same package also we can we can't access from another program child class or non child class also we can't access so this is about access specifiers or modifiers in java programming